Let's take a look at command line basics, makedir. Makedir is used to create directories. After using makedir to create a directory, we can use the ls command to verify that that directory was successfully created. Let's try again. This time, let's ask, let's ask makedir to be verbose. By calling makedir with the dash v flag, makedir prints a message for each created directory. We can, of course, still use ls to verify that the directory was created. Makedir can also be used to create multiple directories at one time. If you attempt to create a directory and a directory with that name already exists, Makedir will produce an error message. In the previous examples, we created directories directly within the current working directory. It is also possible to use Makedir to create directories elsewhere. This command creates a subdirectory called edu inside the src directory. This behavior can be extremely useful. However, be advised that if the parent directory does not exist, makedir will produce an error message and will fail to create the subdirectory. This command failed because the examples directory doesn't exist. There's a solution. Let's take a look at the manual for makedir to find it. The dash p flag instructs makedir to make parent directories as needed. The dash p flag can also be used so that makedir doesn't complain if the directory already exists. Recall that we already created a directory called bin. As we saw earlier, if we try to create a directory that already exists, makedir will normally fail. But by calling makedir with the dash p flag, makedir will silently succeed. In all of the examples so far, we've asked makedir to create directories within the current working directory. We can alternatively call makedir using absolute paths. Makedir is an essential Linux command that you will use frequently. You should practice using it to create directories in your current working directory and elsewhere. While you may never use the dash Z or dash M flags, you should learn to use the dash P flag.